I'm eventually getting a set of Brian May Optima gold guitar strings. See what all the fuss is about. It's £16. I've put off buying a set of these for ages now. Um, I tend to use Ernie Ball 9s. Uh, if you buy them on eBay, three sets uh, for something £10, £12. So £16 for a set of strings is quite expensive. But apparently the clarity is better, so I'm going to figure it out. I haven't put them on the, on the guitar yet. But I'm about to put these on the Red Special for now. And we'll see what they sound like. So last night I put the gold strings on, kept the same shirt on for continuity with the beginning of the video which I shot yesterday, thought I'd try to keep it clean, got everything from toothpaste, yoghurt, tomato, passata everywhere, so <laughs> you can't see it on the camera, but they're not the cleanest of shirts, um, so that's the reason I'm still wearing the same shirt off yesterday. So put the gold strings on, like I said before, uh, I got them for £16.49 on eBay. Somebody said, obviously brand new, not second hand. Um, so quite expensive strings from the ones that I'm used to uh, buying. First impressions. Took me a little bit of getting used to to see the strings as gold because we're, we're used to steel string uh, electric guitars with the silver strings. But first impressions... <laughs> They feel really, really nice, which we'd expect from an expensive uh, set of strings. And if I did a blindfold test, I believe I would be able to tell the difference. There's, there's just something soft and silky about them, and they do ring out. Overall, I'm quite um, happy with them. Some of the reviews that I've read are mixed. The majority of people think that they're absolutely amazing strings and well worth the money. A few people have said that they've gotten them and the high A string has snapped straight away. But don't know, but possibly that there are nines. So there are a light gauge string and I've bought Ernie Ball nines and the e string snapped straight away that just could be because the nines and the light not because of some defect in the actual string is disappointing if you've paid 16 in some cases 20 pound for a set of strings and the high e string snaps and they're not the type of guitar string where you can just buy individual you've got a set to send for a brand another another set um Personally, I think that they're really good. Would I buy another set? Probably would, yes. And the idea you've got to remember with gold strings is that gold doesn't tarnish. One of the uh, questions I get asked a lot uh, as a guitar teacher is why are the strings of my guitar tarnished and going rusty very quickly? So it is a problem. One of the things with that is obviously your hands sweat. So tarnishes the strings you're getting all that grease skin and moisture i know with teaching their uh, students the guitar i can generally tell when i pick their guitar where they keep it in the house uh, a few kids have went do you keep your guitar in the conservatory and they've went how do you know i've got a conservatory and you can tell by the strings that the guitar has been stored like not outside but somewhere very cold and damp other people who say, do you store your guitar next to the window and next to a radiator because it has a certain effect on the strings. From what I've heard, obviously only time will tell, these strings don't tarnish the same way that your normal steel strings would. So they last longer and they are brighter. You might not be able to pick up on the brightness you know, through the, the microphone and the iPhone, but here you can definitely, definitely hear it. So I'm going to, this is quite an interesting video for me uh, because I think I've exhausted and covered everything possible Queen that I could or that I want to. So this is probably the last Queen video I'm going to be doing for some time unless something uh, sparks my imagination or something new happens. And I want to branch out with the channel um, doing other, other artists and maybe new direction. If you've been watching my 
Instagram. I've completely cleared that because I didn't know what it wanted to be. Did it want to show pictures and videos of my cat? Did it want to be a guitar uh, Instagram page? Did it want to be a Queen album page? So it's cleared and it's just neutral, kind of um, no famous songs, just all kind of theory, how to use scales, how to use chords in a minute long. And you should be able to pick up some decent ideas on playing your own stuff and using scales and chords to great effect. So I'm going to tail out with this one, just playing some general stuff using the gold strings and see what you think. And let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you.